Hello there, I am Giant Quota with more Earthbound. In the last part, we started the, um, I guess Giant Step Cave, you could t you could call it, and, um, yeah, we, we fought a lot of enemies and stuff, and I went, in between videos, I went back and saved at the, um, hotel or whatever, and <laughs> I guess where the phone was, obviously, we took my dad, and, um, uh, yeah, we saved. But I also, on the way back, I did a level up off screen. I leveled up to level 10, and I learned, um, a PSI healing, I think, alpha. So, I guess, um, I guess life helps for yourself, and then, uh, healing is for, like, another party member, because I did off screen test it, and healing didn't have any effect on Ness. Um, on one person, of course, the one character so far. So, yeah. Now we're gonna take on the, um, first. Sanctuary boss, I believe, of, and this is the boss of Giant Step. I have a bunch of hamburgers. I still my skip sandwich, cold red mini, and all that cookie. So I think we're ready to take it on. So let's just talk to it. Talk to you. you. Finally got here. This is your first, your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Oh, okay, I kind of just <laughs> accidentally pressed A too fast there, but it said take it from me if you dare, basically. So. This is, um, I don't remember what the name of this boss is, but he has two, um, Antoids behind him. You can't see the other one, the second one, but first, I would recommend you start with using your PSI move, your offensive PSI move that you got around level 8 or 9, and I have PSI rockin', so let's take it on. It's a biting attack, ooh, okay. Yeah, let's just take use PSI rockin' and take out the titanic ants or whatever, and black down and yeah, all of them became tame. Okay, and we got damage on the big metal end too. So I'm gonna go with another um, PSI rocket actually. So, you know. Fighting attack 20, okay. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just eat a hamburger and hopefully this will work. Okay, cool. Um, uh, yeah, one more PSI rocket I can do because I only have. Okay, but shield alpha. No. Okay, still did damage on it and it became tame. Nice. We won. Awesome. We get 715 on experience. Ness is now level 11. Offensive offense went by up by one. Defensive went by one. Uh, guts went up by one. Uh, vitality went up by one. Maximum HP went up by 13. Wow. Oh, well, that's a, still a big amount like it's usually been. It's been like 13 and 12. Um, yeah, maximum PP went up by, PP went up by one. Nice. And then just like, you know, it gets fades out and like, kind of just like teleports away. It looks like you can see its body, like how it just slowly just disappears or something. Up here is Giant Step, and I really like this music. It's really nice. I forgot to point out from down there, you could possibly see Giant Step from that transitional area right there with the autom almost automatic butterfly. But yeah, we walk towards it. And yeah, this cool white screen and everything, and I screen. Oh my gosh, this is such a great t tune. Yeah, that's awesome. And guess what? Ness caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. Or does that is he like thinking back to like when King was a puppy? Maybe. That's what I always. That's what I always thought. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of Giant Step, more like Giant Grotto. Am I right? I'm just kidding. Okay, so if you keep on coming back here, you just have to go through the, um, the, um, Giant Step Cave, which I think you'll have no problem, uh, going through as, as I explained further. But, um, for right now, you can keep on going back here, and if I go to my goods and go to, um, the Soundstone, you can use it, such as Soundstone, uh, to his voids and gather his thoughts. This is pretty cool. So right here, you can always just listen to the melody. Anytime you want, which is really cool. One of eight uh, places, uh, one of eight melodies have been recorded. So that's pretty cool. Only one of the eight so far. So also, when you go back to the cave, um, now that you've beaten the boss, or if you've beaten the boss, you know, which I, I'll put a text over what his name was because like, I didn't catch his name for some reason. Of the ant thing. <laughs> okay, you can actually, um, I thought I tried to back attack, but yeah, oh that worked actually. We automatically won, but also take note that the um, enemies in the giant step cave just run away from you. So like, they're just running away from me. If we just keep on back attacking them, we can just get free experience points, which is very nice. We automatically win because 
we can always just um if we were to go in battle with them we could probably beat them in one one attack so that's why they um put that mechanic in see them in them um we're already monsters are just too scared to fight us and just running away there's no boy fire here for that um section usually there is like, there's a 90 percent i'd say there's a 90 percent chance that there will be a body fire there always in that area but that's okay let's go climb down the rope yeah there we go and as you can see the enemies are just run away because we're powerful and we can beat them so that's pretty cool so they don't 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 be worried if they're gonna attack you even after you beat the boss they're just gonna like nope i'm running away from you i don't want to attack you your coolness <laughs> okay it sounds like it almost sounded like I sounded I sounded I said coolness, like coolness, like hotness and coolness. I guess, I guess yeah, I don't know. Hey you, the board says don't. Uh, sorry, do not enter. Can't couldn't you read it? Oh wait, but like I'm gonna zoom in like when I'm editing this, and it says don't enter, and it looks really pixelated right now too, cause it's zoomed in. But yeah, I can read. Jeez, so you just wanna read the sign so you just didn't want to read the sign huh kid get your butt to the owner police station later and he quickly just like goes through that little transitional house shack thing really quickly like whenever we go through it we have to go through this um little um you know little area first and then we get out of the little shack it says don't enter man don't enter darn i didn't see that I did I also didn't see that when I was actually going through the place, actually, when I first entered the place. I'm gonna just avoid these crows. Unless they're scared of me. Are you scared of me? I guess, okay, well, if you back attack them like that, you'll turn green, and they can automatically, um, just beat them in a battle, basically. And I do not want another cookie. Oh, wait, okay, no, I want another cookie if I have space for it. I thought I didn't have space for it for a second. But then I remembered I at least used one hamburger in that last boss battle. Okay, that's pretty cool. But before I go to the police station, and by the way, the cars just stop if you, they don't even run you over, you know? You can just stop in the tracks. So, yeah. I think I know, I'm gonna go to the motel, hotel of Onet. Let me actually beat up my map real quick so I know what, what I'm talking about. Okay, it's, um, it's called the hotel, okay. It's just a, a little ways away, okay, cool. So we're pretty cool. We got our first sanctuary melody, and that's pretty cool. I passed it up. Wow. Okay, let's go to the motel. And I forgot to point this out earlier. This little room is an ATM. Has an ATM in it, so you can withdraw money. Okay, I have three dollars. Okay. Okay, I want to. I want to. Um. Dang it. I want to. Um. Uh. Check. There we go. Welcome to the Lab Mac Toy Machine. Please select the transaction. Withdraw. I want to withdraw exactly thirty-five dollars. So let me do that. Thirty-five dollars. There we go. Cause you only need thirty dollars, thirty-five dollars for something. And that is to stay a night at this wonderful hotel. Awesome. Let's talk to this nice um manager guy, hotel manager. Welcome to the hon. Welcome to Hotel Onet. Um, a one night stay will cost you thirty-five dollars. Would you like to stay? Yes, I have the money for that. That's why exactly. That's why I withdrawed exactly thirty-five dollars. Uh, my ATM. Yeah. Have a nice stay. And this should activate. Yeah, there we go. Activate it. Go cutscene. Ness. 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 I'm a friend who you have never met before. Huh? That's. Wait. If I haven't met you, how are you? How do you know that we're friends? I mean, huh? My name is Paula. Hey, that's foreshadowing for the future, I guess. Just saying. Can you hear me calling you? I guess. I am Paula. Huh. And it's morning, okay. We had a, and then by the way, that was a dream sequence. So yeah, Ness was dreaming about a girl named Paula, apparently. Okay, so once you go out here, I think there's a trick you can do involving this guy right here, but I'm not really sure what it is. Um, I could be wrong. I think it had to do with something in my hotel room. I don't remember the trick exactly, but like it, it made sure like had a it made sure you had a free stay or something. I think you had to talk to the guy outside the door actually. Let me see if I'm right. I could be totally wrong on this. Good morning. Here's a free copy of the morning newspaper. Here's today's headline: The Onet Times. Ten, 
tamer of the sharks, actually a boy in a red cap. That's me, <laughs> that's Ness at least. I don't remember the trick, but I think you can do a certain sequence of um, actions to get a free night stay actually. But it has to be your second night stay. Your first night stay, I think you always have to pay the $35 to the um, hotel. So yeah, um, all we have to do now is go to the um, police station because we're in trouble, we're bad boys, bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you, bad boys, bad boys? I hope I don't get copyright for that, but I probably won't. I uh, maybe, maybe I don't know. So um, that's been this has been the end of my Earthbound part. The next part we'll take on um the police station and see what we can do there to clear our name, hopefully. So this has been Janko again. I'd rather the bridge again. Goodbye, and I hope to see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.